Good morning YouTube and we are coming to you from inside Apollo with some exciting news. Finally, going to start our next build project. Uh, I know I promised you an IV core daily with a full height garage, but something's jumped the queue. So, I know what you're thinking from that little pan around. Probably not the best specced out piece of kit, um, but we picked it up cheap. I saw it on Facebook and I just went, wow, this thing looks awesome. Uh, like an extra bedroom for Apollo, or even just to do up and sell. Um, I just fell in love with it. And it had enough good characteristics, which I'm gonna show you through, um, and enough of a layout to be able for me to be able to think yes that is going to work that is going to be awesome i'll give you a quick show of what it's got involved obviously i've shown you the outside it's got two uh, roller shutter doors one behind there so that's on the opposite side to the actual door that you get in so that's a roller shutter uh, there's a roller shutter on this side that you just came through and then there's another roller shutter with a flip down step where you can actually get into the back um what it actually is it is an x aa voxel brava uh, it's basically a pickup truck with a fiberglass body on the back with roller shutter doors where they would have kept all the tools They've hacked the cab off and I'll show you underneath uh, Shortly, but basically it's basically just half a pickup truck with a tow hitch welded to the front It is going to need some work. It isn't braked and it needs to be I would think but all the brakes are still intact with the cables running up to the tow hitch So all we need to do is take that tow hitch off and put a brake tow hitch on um, and attach it to the brakes I'm hoping that's going to be a fairly simple job. I'm going to show you around the inside. So basically, this is what they've gone and done. Um, he's had these cushions reupholstered, brand new before we got uh, the van. Van, thing, whatever it is, trailer. Uh, so they're all brand new and looking lovely. So I'm well impressed with those. Uh, to get the bed out, it's all bad. It's not, you know, it, it's not a brilliant, um, you know, there's no carpentry skills whatsoever been involved in this uh, as you can see it all just comes apart but the idea is there the idea is brilliant um, so that's, that pulls out there and then there's like a latch here um, and that comes down and I think that pulls out to that and then that by, I'm not sure what you can actually see there wakey wakey if anybody knows how to stop your GoPro going to sleep, that'd be wonderful. So then this spare cushion goes in here, uh, and this slides across, and that slides into that gap, giving you a, a perfectly respectable bed uh, that one tall person and uh, one short person can sleep on. Uh, or if you're really comfortable in each other's space, I could share a bit of leg space because obviously if I get down here it's it's blocked off at this point here uh, which is sort of some sort of cupboard that you can't get into once the bed's open some really bad design flaws um, a little cupboard here that only opens that much uh, again it just needs a bit of updating I'm going to show you what we're going to keep the layout as it is um, and just adapt it because my plan is this so the bed when it's out in its entirety only comes out really to there uh, I suppose it could come out further no it can't because that's locked into there or does that come out further and then that locks into there and then that pulls out a bit more but anywho even with that all the way out we've still got this sort of gap here that's not big enough to walk down but what's the point in it being there now my plan is we bring this out to here turn this into a kitchen so we'll have a kitchen inside the van uh, which also means if we put the hob 
whatever we end up using on runners we can slide it out uh, so you can cook outside as well underneath the awning the awning is brand new uh, it's a terra firma you know just a, a pull out awning um, there's also a brand new truma uh, solar panel on the roof but it's about 25 watts so that's going to be going and he also bought i mean you can see i mean look you know he just hadn't done a brilliant job but again brand new uh grill and i don't know sawdust but it is a brand new grill and um, i don't know whether i'll bother using that or get something better uh, you can see inside that cupboard uh, if you can he's just got a gas bottle placed in there safe as houses <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around the van at the minute. We've um, I will be taking this inside the unit now. We've been finishing up a few jobs, claiming a bit of space uh, to get on with our next big build for the channel, which is now the trailer. Um, so we've had to we've we've blocked this in so it don't get stolen. Uh, so we've got it trapped between bollards and buildings and trapped against the door, and then it's tied in here so nobody could steal it while we was waiting to get on with it. But this, oh, well, you know it's under there. It's got some new shoes already. We've ordered it, some nice all terrain tyres. They're ready to go on. Uh, but the first job will be to get it in, get it ripped out, and get it repainted, all the holes filled, uh, get the bodywork on the outside done, and then we can start moving on. But I'll show you the underneath uh, so you can see what we're talking about with this, with this tow hitch. Um, so, basically, this is your existing uh, chassis here and they've just welded this in and added this tow hitch. Uh, it is not a braked tow hitch, so, you know, that's no good to us. Uh, but as you can see, if we look under there, we have, coming from here, and obviously here, our brakes going all the way back, way up. Uh, and it's even got the diff. You know, it's literally just hacked it off, so we've got, we've got like the diff there, uh, spare wheel under the back, and then if you look there, we've still got all the brakes intact, um, so that shouldn't, he says, shouldn't be a big deal to get that sorted. Also thinking, maybe um, we're going to have a, some sort of van vault, like a lockbox on here, uh, which is going to create some extra storage because because of the roller shutter doors there's not a massive amount of storage inside it so um we're going to have a box on the front and also if we do transfer the grill uh from the uh from the boot area to this side door here so we can grill inside and outside then that's going to give us some space in the boot area as well it's not insulated it's it's not anything really um just some guys knocked it together on his on his drive and i think he realized that it probably wasn't for him uh so he stuck it on facebook and i'm mega chuffed that he did because i genuinely think this is going to be an awesome project like a really awesome project um i mean why have a van with an upstairs if you can't have an annex as well i mean seriously right She's inside, we brought it in, it's time to commence. We need to start doing this. So the first job is gonna be ripping it out, uh, complete back to a bare fiberglass body, and find all the holes, nooks, crannies, bumps and lumps, get all that sorted out, get some paint work on there, uh, and see where life takes us with it, I think. Uh, but for this one, she's inside, she's ready. If you wanna see the rest of the build uh, and see how this is gonna be transformed into either an annex for Apollo or something for a camping pod. It'll be a complete self-contained camping pod. If you want to watch it, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, and all that jazz. See you in the next one.